welcome back students now we are going to see the lever torus costorum so this lever torus costorum are para vertebral muscles so these are the vertebrae so here you can see the muscles here so which are present by the side of this vertebrae so they are called as para para vertebral muscles functionally associated with intercostal muscles so along with intercostalis muscles these muscles are also going to work together with the intercostalis so now these are the small muscles individual muscles so this levatoris costorum lie between c7 okay c7 to t11 c7 to t11 these the fibers are running from the transverse processes of one vertebrae transverse processes here you can see the transverse process of all this thing so transverse processes of one vertebrae to the posterior external surface of the next lower rib between the tubercle and the ankle so the fibers which run from the transverse processes to the posterior external surface of the next lower rib so for example this is the third thoracic vertebrae but the fibers are going to attach on the fourth on the fourth rib on the fourth rib so here again you will see the fibers run from the transverse processes of one vertebra to the posterior external surface of the next lower rib between the tubercle and the angle between the tubercle and the angle so tubercle we can't see here because the tubercle at the tubercle costal transverse joint is formed so between the tubercle and the angle of the rib so these fibers are getting attached so these are called as levotoris costorum so from where to where from c7 to t11 these fibers are present okay this is called levatoris costorum it works along or it helps the intercostalis muscle during inspiration that to quiet breathing so what will happen what is the function uh, can you people imagine that thing so you have seen so many things at these joints so because of this orientation of these fibers so if the contraction of these fibers what will happen it causes a rotation it causes at the rotation in the upper ribs isn't it what are the things happening in that um, cv joint and ct joint so here there is a rotation which is taking place um, in the head causes movement inside the joint is superior as well as the posteriorly that is called rotation of the head at the um, cv joint as well as the posterior gliding is taking place here so rotation and gliding taking place at the cv as well as the ct joints so because of this orientation of this levator is costorum such kind of so once this is happening at the cv and ct what will happen which causes elevation of ribs elevation of ribs causes what when this elevation of ribs takes place during inspiration so that means these muscles helps in inspiration okay now we will see the other muscle that is uh, triangularis sterni or transverse thoracis in the next video thank you